Hey guys, how's it going? Today we'll do something out of the ordinary. Did you know that you can edit landscape images using Retouch Pro? Yes, you heard me. Retouch Pro is not only meant for editing portraits, but pretty much any image you can think of. Of course, we won't be applying the face retouching functions in Retouch Pro. There are other functions in the panel that you can use to edit landscape images. And in this video, I will be showing you some of them. And just a quick disclaimer, the edits that I'm about to show you are just from my own preference and creativity. I'm not trying to be the best photo editor here, nor show you how to properly edit your photos. Colors are subjective, so have an open mind to the images that I'm about to show you. If you'd like to purchase this panel, use my coupon code at checkout to get a 5% discount. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Alright, so let's start with this image right here. And we open up the Retouch Pro panel. Obviously, we're not gonna be using these Retouch functions. So let's go over to the FX tab, and then go to Presets, and then just click any random buttons here. Let's start with the Summer. Alright, so in just one click, we've applied a different look to this image. This is the original image, and this is with the Summer preset. It looks good, right? Now let's go back to the Effects tab and choose another preset. Let's choose Autumn. This is the before. This is after. This looks amazing as well. Let's go back and try Snowy. Alright, this is a bit muted and desaturated. Now let's try Winter. Hmm, I'm not liking this. This just goes to show that not all presets will work with your image. It's mostly trial and error and experimentation. Just use these presets as a starting point or an inspiration when editing your photos. Okay, we're still on the same image but this time, we'll edit this image with a different approach. So we go back to the Effects tab, go to Presets, and this time, select Sunset. Alright, it's looking good. Then we click the mask icon down here, select the brush tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to black, and decrease the opacity to 20%. Then we start painting on the areas that we don't want to apply the effect, like so. Of course, I'm just doing this quickly for this demo. When you do your own edits, be precise and take your time when painting. So this is one way to selectively apply the effect on certain areas of your image using a mask. Okay, let's proceed with another landscape image right here. This is actually a cityscape but it's the same concept, so you get the idea. Again, we go to the Effects tab, and for this image, let's go with Desert. Here's the before, after. What do you think about this preset? Let me know down in the comments section. Alright, so let's try another preset here, and choose Vintage. This is the original image, and this is with a vintage preset. It looks good, right? And we did it in just one click. Let's try another one. Let's go with Ambient 1. Before. After. Wow! This preset totally changed the look of this image, and it looks nice. By the way, if the effect is too strong, you can always decrease the opacity right here. Let's try one more effect. Let's choose black. Okay, so this one looks a bit moody and serious. Let's try to make it look livelier and happy. 
we go back to the Effects tab, click on Overlays, then select Sun 1. Then let's move it right about here. This is without the Sun Overlay, with the Sun Overlay. I think it's too bright, so let's decrease the opacity to 90%. Now that looks much better. Alright, let's proceed with this image here of the Grand Canyon. Let's open up the Retouch Pro panel and this time, let's go to the CG tab or Color Grading tab. And under here we have Split Toning and Color Filters. And in case you're asking what's the difference between presets and color grading, presets are exposure and color adjustments of the entire image. While color grading applies a split toning effect that applies colors to the shadows and highlights of the image. Okay, let's start with split toning and choose number 9. So it applied a pinkish color to the shadows and greenish color to the highlights. I don't like this color combo so let's delete it by dragging the layer down here to the trash bin icon. Let's try number 3 right here. I still don't like the effects, so let's delete this as well. How about number 4? Let's see what it looks like. Now this looks much better. Before. After. Before. After. Let's go back to the CG tab and this time, use the color filters. Let's try cold shadows. Um, no. This doesn't fit the image quite well. Let's try cold highlights. Alright, I'm liking this. If you take a look at the sky, it made the highlights look bluish which I find pleasing. Let's group these two layers right here. And this is the original image. And this is with the color grading effect. Let's open up the Retouch Pro panel again and this time, click on the Finish tab. Then click on Details. We click on the mask, select the brush tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to black, then we paint on the areas that you want to enhance or sharpen the details, like so. I'm not sure if you will be able to see the difference, but there is a subtle boost on the details. And to give this image a final touch, let's go back to the Finish tab and click on Final Contrast. Then we paint black on the areas that we don't want to apply the effect. In this case, we paint on the mountain like so. This is the before, after, before, after. Alright, so once we're satisfied with editing this image, we go back to the Finish tab, go to Save Photo, and click on For Web. Then hit the Save button right here, select a folder where you want to save it, and click Save. That's it! Who would have thought that you can use a portrait retouching panel to edit landscape images? Were you surprised about this, or you know this trick already? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. If you're familiar with Lightroom or Camera Raw presets, it's actually the same concept. Keep in mind that photo editing requires the use of imagination and being creative. Don't be afraid to experiment with colors because you'll never know if your image will turn out good or not. I hope you learned something from this video. And if you did, please click the like button Subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. Again, if you're planning to purchase this panel, use my coupon code to get a 5% discount. I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.